Welcome to 5 Minute Music. I decided I wanted to make some concise videos about common violin related problems and how to fix them. This first one is about intonation. So if you're watching this, you probably play decently in tune, but you're working on getting more fine-tuned as close to exactly on the pitch as you can be. And your old strategies probably stop working for you very well. So for example, as string players, we learn with intonation, you know, just change where your finger is. <laughs> It'll land somewhere in the right place. We might have finger tape, something like that. Those are excellent starts, but they won't always get you to where you want to be. So the next tool in your intonation arsenal is your left elbow. Your left elbow can dramatically change the pitch of a note. So in violin playing, we have to be really intentional about the angle of the elbow. So when you're on the E string in first position, that's probably the most relaxed place. The A string, your elbow kicks out a little bit, a little bit closer to your body. For the D string, even more so, especially if you want fourth finger to be in tune. And then for the G string, it comes out the furthest. You can see how much in front of my body this is right now. And a lot of you might know that already, especially for notes like fourth finger on the D string. If I have my elbow out here, it's nice and in tune match it with my open D and be pretty happy with it if I bring it over here. Do you hear how that's just slightly off? And it's not like I changed where my finger is contacting the string. It was my elbow that did that. It's also worth noting that your wrist should not bend in any direction and everything should move as a unit from the elbow to the hand. Once again here. Versus something even as dramatic as that with having my elbow way over here. So the elbow makes a huge difference and it's probably the closest to your body, like to your chest, when you're on the G string, pretty much anywhere on the G string, and when you're high up on the E string. And I think about my elbow the most often whenever I'm doing octaves. So if you're learning how to play octaves and you're not sure how people can possibly hit octaves in tune. I think the elbow's the key a lot of the time. So say we're playing a D octave, so first finger, fourth finger. You can spend all the time you want matching your first finger with open D, matching your fourth finger with first finger, and then hoping that when it comes time to play that in your music that you'll be able to pull that out of thin air and it'll sound great and in tune. It might sometimes, but I would encourage you to think more about your elbow. So whenever I'm playing this octave decently in tune, my elbow comes out a little bit. It's still fairly relaxed though. And if I remember where that elbow is exactly, I can pull that octave decently in tune out of thin air. So the next time you're trying to get something in tune, you're moving your fingers around, you're trying to make it work, it's not happening, try focusing on the elbow instead. That will definitely be a step in the right direction for helping you play a lot better in tune more consistently. Part of the reason this also helps is it will help the fourth finger be better positioned, more likely to be in tune, and then that fourth finger can be a great anchor point for the rest of your fingers to land, just like how your first finger usually is whenever you're shifting and whenever we're taught how to do that. So those are my thoughts on the elbow. Hopefully this led you in the right direction. Thanks for watching.